What's going on, y'all? We are back at it again. It's your boy Bezo with Wheels. Y'all make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. And first and foremost, this is not my car. This is this is my this is actually my fiance car, man. This is this is not mine. So don't get to judge me in the comments. So um anyways, question of the year. Does my Glocks jam? Does my Glock jam? Does any of my guns jam? We're gonna find out today. Y'all just stay tuned. Now, our objective for today is to go to the site. Well, I'm at Academy. I normally don't be at Academy to get my rounds, but I doubt they even got any rounds. They don't ever have no rounds. Um, I normally I came here because the the, the spots my spots are, aren't even open yet. But objective for today is to go shoot, get the get the rounds, go shoot, and see how they shoot right now, as of right now, as is, with the colors on them. It's probably three months old, four months old that they've been the same color. We're gonna see how it functions as is. Then we're gonna go back to the shop. We're gonna go to the shop, and then we're gonna repaint them. Not, not the Glock, not, not the uh, shotgun. Not, hell no, nah. uh, that that took a long time. So we're just gonna repaint the the Glock 17 a different color, and after that, we're gonna go back to the shooting site. We're gonna go back up there, and we're gonna see how we function even with some fresh paint. So, um, and uh, two reasons I'm really doing this because one, I want to shoot my guns. And two, the explicit comments. Oh my God, y'all hilarious. First off, you you feel free to drop any comments. You can drop any comment you want because you will never hurt my feelings, ever. My feelings got hurt one time in my life, one time. I was playing the drums, as soon as I got done, a grown man, it was a grown man, he came out knowing and was like, hey bro, you can hang it up, you ass. Do you know how I feel? I'm in church and I heard that. I'm like, boy, I can never, I can never get hurt in here. I can never get my feelings crushed in church. I don't care if I'm stuttering on this Bible verse. Like, bruh, I got my feelings crushed. So you could, I didn't got jumped. I didn't got, I didn't fall. I never got my feelings hurt like that. Nah, I just like, nah, I did though. I ain't gonna lie. I mean, I'm telling you, so you can never hurt my feelings, man. The comments had me cracking up. I'm cheesing. I'm like, what? <laughs> y'all, why y'all so sensitive? Don't watch my videos. We having fun with it. At the end of the day, my videos are going to be about having fun with it. I'm telling you. So, um, yeah, so that's the objective for today. We're going to shoot the guns as is. Then we're going to repaint them. And then we're going to shoot them again. We're going to see how they function. So, I got to go get these rounds. Y'all stay tuned, man. Y'all go ahead and follow. Y'all can follow me. Come, come on. Come on. No, I can't park like this. I, I was just hiding from the sun. You know, I'm light-skinned. You know what I mean? Ah! Do you? Do you? This ain't nothing. It's, it's the slave dust. Oh my God. He even got a gun. He even got a 22 up here. So Academy don't got him. So I called two other spots. You know what they said? Yeah, man, I got a box for 24 for $72. I said, I'm sorry, I dropped my phone. What? Yep, got it just came in yesterday. You better get down here pretty damn quick, man. I got a box for 70 bucks. $70? I'm not buying a 50 cow. Like, what? It's like $7 a bullet. Like, nah, that math is off. But still, that's that's a lot for a 9mm. I ain't had to buy no no 9mm rounds for nothing. Like, I had so many of them, but I just I just ran out thinking I could just bounce back and go to the store and grab some. Hell no. Nah. I said, all right, we'll see. You got, you got 7.62 by 39? What the hell is 7.62 by 39? I ain't seen that in two years. Damn, man. Like, oh, my God. Inflation? Is that what it's called? Damn. This war about to go to shit. So y'all better stop playing and go get y'all rounds. I ain't running out. For this video, I'm not shooting all my rounds. You got me up, up, bro. No, sir. I am about to literally probably shoot two or three rounds with my guns painted as is and two or three rounds with it freshly painted. That's it. I'm sorry. So, oh, gun world. Oh, you're gonna kill a pretty penny for that one. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. 
Wait till my gun collection gets a little bit bigger. Man, I shouldn't have sold my 357. I know that ain't 357, but... It, no, no, yeah, it is 357, but it, it didn't look, it wasn't that long. Police behind me. <laughs> Gotta stop swerving. Hey man, but I did go ahead and buy a box. It's only like 80 bucks. Oh my God, that's a Bentley truck. What they doing out here in the hood? Oh my God, who got a white Bentley? Ooh, that was tough. Um, oh, oh, now they open. Oh, wow. Anyways, um, I got a box of uh, Sintec rounds. Uh, I've never bought the, it's 150 grain. I've never bought this box before. They just only had these available. Um, I, I went back into the car and got on Google, kind of did some reviews, watched some reviews on it, and they weren't bad at all. Um, it's coincidentally, these tips are red, matches my Glocky, matches my gun. So, y'all stay tuned, we gotta get it. All right, so this is my supposedly gold 12 gauge shotgun, but it's actually, if you ask me, it looks orange. So, we'll. Give this a pepper the ground up a little bit. Ready? Make sure. Way up close. So I ain't I ain't shooting a lot of rounds. I told y'all. Now uh, then we got the Glock 17. Uh, these are the rounds. I did not paint these rounds. These are the rounds that was already in the box. It looked like I painted it coincidentally, but. Let's go ahead and pepper this ground up a little bit. Seems to be fine. We even probably do a little up close. Swap out the mag. The 30 round mag is fully loaded. Y'all can see. Oh, that was a live one. Gotta get that one. All right, let's do it. Do one up close. All right, man, so what we're gonna do is just head back to the house and uh, get them painted. These two, I'm not painting a shotgun. And then uh, after that, we'll bring it back out here and let some more rounds go. So y'all stay tuned. Got the Glock and the magazines. So make sure it's empty. We are good. All right, so now I'm just gonna buzz over this with some 320. Now. You don't have to use the grit that I use. Like I said, this isn't so much of a how-to video. I'm just gonna show y'all that um, I haven't had any issues with the Glocks functioning with it being painted or the guns functioning while it was painted. So uh, I'm about to go ahead and buzz this down or you can probably soak it in. I'm gonna try and sand this down and soak this in, um, in some lacquer thinner or some, uh, uh, acetone whichever might work so just disassemble it take it all apart do your thing i'm gonna show y'all how it is now this is how it is now so masked up right here everything else is painted somebody was on my head about uh i guess painting this part because this part flexes and this actually i think i don't know if it I, i'm not a gun expert i don't be i don't know everything about a gun but um I believe this either pushes, pushes the, uh, this part right here. See how it kind of flexes. That part either pushes the shell out, maybe grabs it. I forgot. Y'all probably know. Y'all feel free to drop the comments to let me know. But somebody was on my head about me painting that and painting this part. And they said that it would, it's going to jam. It's not going to work right. So I got my, uh, my gun. Sitting in my lacquer thinner. This is what the lacquer thinner should do. Ooh. Uh. Y'all see that? 
it's literally been in here for about probably not even three minutes. Could you not? So uh, I know it's probably y'all drop the comments. That's stupid. It's not gonna malfunction. That's why we're gonna shoot it after. So um, y'all stay tuned. Uh, let me just strip these guns, get them painted, and then we'll go from there. The reason I'm only I'm dipping this instead of sanding it is because it's metal, and I ain't gotta worry about this uh, lacquer thinner eating up the plastic because there's no plastic on here. Mind you, this is the same gun that I took all the way apart and painted all these little pieces that used to be, I think this used to be green. This was olive green. You know what? I might do olive green. Anyways, as you can look, I mean, you can see all of this is still, was still had paint in there. So, and then I repainted it black. So, for the ones that keep saying it's going to jam. Anyway, all right, let's get it. site same day different outfit just because i got my work clothes on so oh yeah y'all see it man this thing slick i'm leaving it this color yes sir yes sir yes sir we already loaded because i did not bring my bipod my tripod so um other than that we are getting ready to blow these bad boys uh so yeah y'all get the uh what is it pov whatever it is so y'all saw me i stripped it down um i painted the mag i didn't bring the uh, standard 17 round mag just because one i didn't even paint it and two uh i'm not worried about that mountain functioning so just because i didn't paint the whole thing this is actually the whole entire stick that i painted so um i got about 10 rounds so let's have some fun and y'all tell me what y'all think like i said i painted it exactly how i normally paint these guns uh so y'all see um that piece right there was um supposedly gonna be an issue because that i painted it so let's give some rounds let's go ahead and pepper this ground up oh, one shot and then we'll do about what three quick rounds oh, i don't see any jamming or anything so y'all oh, i got a little run don't i got a lot of runs right there don't don't worry about that but hey uh i mean i don't see anything out of the ordinary uh we'll go ahead and just do a sideways view back up some took my leg took my arm off my ear is ringing so man y'all tell me if y'all like it or not, I like the color, man. Like I said, I didn't have any issues with this being, um, you know, painted. So, 
I mean, y'all feel free to drop them comments. How do y'all think she? It's a Glock, man. Uh, and I shot a couple other different guns, nine millimeters, some uh, Rugers, and um, some what it was. I forgot another gun that I shot that was paint. I shot at the gun range, so I haven't had any issues, man. Um, I thought I'd go ahead and just kind of show y'all exactly how she functions uh, with it painted. So. let me know we are out it is super cold so um I'll, I'll do some more videos on different guns that i painted um other than that man i love this color this thing is a beast y'all make sure y'all like comment and subscribe don't forget to share the video we are out